friends, it's Ruby from Ruby Rose UK and today I'm making disco ball silver and a bit of blue slime. So without further ado, let's get started. So what you'll need for this is one transparent bowl, some silver glitter that was $1.99 from B&M, some contact lens solution which was £5 from Waitrose, some clear glue which was from Hobbycraft and this is actually cheaper than the ones from Amazon so I definitely represent this. You'll also need some baking soda, a teaspoon, a milliliter spoon and some blue food colouring. The first thing you do is pour your transparent glue in the transparent bowl. This is from Hobbycraft and I really recommend this because it is only £2 for 300 millilitres and it's way better than Amazon, so hopefully it works. Okay, so I've used 150 millilitres of this because it is a big bottle. So the next thing we're going to do is we've added in the toothpick and we're just going to dip it in the food colouring and then mix it all together. So, try and open this. I did it this time. Dip this in. And mix it. not making a change <laughs> okay guys so this didn't make a change so we're going to use a few dips and we'll, we'll tell you how much we use so we have put two of these kind of stick fills in and it didn't really make a change so we're just going to put half a capsule in like this hopefully i didn't spill it hey okay, that was whole capsule i guess i'm using the whole one there you go put the lid on and I'm just going to mix it with my teaspoon. It's probably going to be really dark. This looks really dark, but in real life it's actually a sky blue, which is really pretty. So the next thing to do is to put your glitter in. And this is a really good value of money. And because you guys want the measurements probably, we're going to put a cap full of the glitter in. So hopefully it doesn't fall out. Okay, so we've got about a cap full and now we're just going to pour it in. So now I'm just going to mix it all together and hopefully this looks pretty. So here's my glitter mixed in with the glue. But now it's time to make our bicarbonate soda mixture. So I'm just going to take the top off and you're going to put a pinch of this. in your mixture of water and we did put as much as we put the glue in as much as the water so now i'm just going to mix it with my teaspoon not with my teaspoon actually with this spoon just going to mix it all together and now it's more smoky than it was before so now we're going to add the bicarbonate soda solution to the mixture so And now we're just going to mix. So now we're going to add the contact lens solution. And this is still in the box, so it's going to be hard to rip off. Okay, so we just opened the contact lens solution and we're going to take this out. And if I was you, I'd shake it before I put it in because it performs better. But now I'm going to use the milliliter spoon. And I'm just going to see how many we need until it turns into slime. So roll the time lapse. So we put three in and it is slime, literally. Now we're going to put another one in. This is the fifth one. My no, fourth one, sorry. This is four. You need to mix this loads or it won't become slime. Oh my gosh. It's a bit sticky still, but it's slime. I think we only need one more. Let's go on to the last one then. This is the final one I'm doing. And I'm just going to pour it in. I'll mix it. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So I've just put seven 10 millimeter spoonfuls of the contact lens solution in. And I'm just going to knead it with my hands and see if it's ready or not. Take the spoon out. Oh my gosh, it's 
you can eat it. It's so good. It's so good. It's a bit more gloopy than the slimes I've ever made, but I like it. So I'm going to show you some tricks I can do with it. I'm not really sure what tricks I can do with it yet, so let's see if they work. The first one is poking, so let's try it. Oh my gosh, that's so satisfying. It definitely pokes. I'm going to try the swirl, but this probably will fail. Yep, no swirl in this. Now I'm going to try the bubble and probably this will work because I think it's the kind of one that stretches more and it's more bubbling. <laughs> Yay! I'm going to show you it from a different angle so you can see. This is really good slime. Look at this, it just goes out. It's so good. It's so glittery and pretty. I think I might add a teeny bit of blue glitter though so it looks more shiny. So I said that I'd add some blue, so here it is, and this is from B&M, the exact same price as the silver one was, but I'm just going to put it in the bowl and then put the slime in the bowl. So let me see over there. And I'm going to put a bit in. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to put the glue, the slime in. Mix it. Oh my gosh, can you see that, guys? <gasps> It looks pretty. I might just pour the glitter out. So now I'm going to show you from a different view, which is the top. It's so pretty, and I'm just going to put it on. Oh my gosh, I really like it. Try and get it on slime. Oh my gosh. So much glitter. I'm going to put it in the middle. I really like it. Okay guys, so this is so cool. It's sparkly, it stretches, and it's very glittery. I'm really proud of it. And I bet when this video is finished, I'll probably do the biggest bubble ever. And I'll probably try to get this on camera, but... Anyway, bye guys! Subscribe to my channel.